Hi students, in this video we are going to see about the biomolecules. In previous video we saw carbohydrates, vitamins, proteins etc. And in this video we are going to see about nucleic acids. What are nucleic acids? Nucleic acids are nothing but DNA and RNA, you would have studied that. Deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA is nothing but ribonucleic acid. What is the use of DNA which is used to pass the hereditary character and RNA is used for protein synthesis, even DNA is used for protein synthesis. But main uh, role of DNA is to pass the hereditary character. Now in this like uh, uh, nucleotides, actually the nucleic acids are made up of nucleotides. What are nucleotides which is made up of nucleoside and phosphoric acid. So now we are going to see what is nucleoside and uh, so what are nucleoside? Nucleosides are nothing but base plus sugar or carbohydrate. Base plus sugar is nothing but nucleoside. What are the bases? Adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine, uracil. I gave you all the types. These are the types of bases which is present. Okay, adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine, uracil. Okay, so these are the types of bases. What are the sugar actually? Sugar can be two types. One is ribose. Okay, so this will be like 2 deoxyribose, another type. So it will be ribose and uh, 2 deoxyribose. These are nothing but what? Nucleosides. So all these bases and the sugar according to the type whether it is DNA or RNA you will choose the sugar molecule and followed by the acid phosphoric acid will give you nucleotides okay phosphoric acid and uh, what is the type of linkage is present what is the type of linkage phospho diester Linkage. Phosphodiester linkage. Okay, there are uh, like what type of linkage is present here is phosphodiester linkage or phosphate linkage. Mostly it will be like phosphoric acid. No, you remove H and attach the group. So this is phosphodiester linkage. Right. Now we are going to see about DNA and RNA, like. What are the sugar present? So I will give you as difference between DNA, RNA. So what is the full form of the deoxyribonucleic acid? Ribonucleic acid. So DNA, so DNA, what are the bases present in DNA? What are the bases present in DNA? Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. These are the bases present in DNA, okay. Now what are the bases present in RNA, adenine, guanine, thymine, uracil, okay. 
so these are the bases now dna what are the um, like this is a deoxyribose i know and bases acid is common only okay phosphoric acid in both the case it is common and the linkage also common it is phosphodiester linkage and it is double standard it can be single stand i mean double standard i will give you the structure later okay double standard and here it is single standard but I, here double standard also can be present okay it can it can be present okay right now dna what is the use dna what is the use of dna passing hereditary character here mainly it is protein synthesis here also protein synthesis but that is not main okay it also but main thing is passing hereditary character okay so hope you understood the difference between dna and rna so dna stands for deoxy ribonucleic acid rna stands for ribonucleic acid and uh, dna is made up of double stranded rna is made up of single stranded but double stranded will not be so stable in rna and dna the bases adenine guanine thymine and uh, cytosine where uh, in rna adenine guanine thymine and the uracil and uh, if you consider their properties with passing the hereditary character for dna and uh, main thing is protein synthesis for rna rna it is of three types okay three types rna types mRNA, rRNA, tRNA. There are these are the types. Messenger RNA, R is ribosomal RNA, T stands for transfer RNA. These are the types of RNA present. Okay. D, uh, now for dna i'm going to give you about the structure okay how the structure will be that's what we are going to see okay understood this rna types all this like carry they have the different functions but mainly it is going to be protein synthesis okay they have different actions but the main thing will be protein synthesis dna is a double standard helical structure okay double helix st helical structure one starts with the 3 dash of carbon another one will start with the 5 dash of carbon okay 3 dash 5 dash okay so how it is connected here c triple bond g a double bond t g triple bond c T double bond A, C triple bond G, G triple bond C, A double bond T, T double bond A. You understand now? These are the specific pairs. <coughs> A double bond T, G triple bond C. Okay. So these are the similarly here also. So what is this actually bond? Double bond and the triple bond is made up of. This double bond and the triple bonds are nothing but hydrogen bonds. Okay, they are nothing but what? Hydrogen bonds. A, A double bond T, C triple bond G. Those double bonds and triple bonds are nothing but hydrogen bonds. Okay, understand? It is not like normal covalent bonds. So adenine will form a double bond with thymine. Cytosine will form a triple bond with guanine. Similarly, thymine with. So these are the specific pairs. For example, adenine will not form with guanine. Similarly, like C cannot form triple bond with T or A. You understand? So these are the specific pairs. Even a mom and a child cannot have 100% DNA match. Okay, so it can be around 80%. So it will be the unique pairing 
you know um, that specific base pairs they definitely differ a person to person 100 percentage the dna match 100 percent match is not possible unless and until it is going to be identical twins but other than that never it is possible okay even a mom and a child i said no like we'll have some 80 percent match and 100 percent dna matches not possible so that's why uh, there's a specific uses of this dna study is fingerprinting so this has lot of applications you know in uh, forensic science to you know uh, identify the criminal or to identify the you know child's father so or mother so with the dna match it is very much possible to identify the parents of that particular ch child so dna fingerprinting is very uh, you know important study that is actually based upon the specific pairs okay understood so so what we saw today is about the nucleic acids what are nucleic acids what are their types and what are the types of linkage present and uh, dna what are the uses of dna and what are the uses of rna and uh, their difference between dna and rna you can expect definitely one question from this in je or neat definitely you will get the question and uh, then also we saw about the rna their structure their specific pairs and uh, what is the importance of dna fingerprinting hope you guys understood thank you students